What's going on YouTube? My name is Simon Snipe and welcome to the channel. It's been a while since the game launched and after all the testing and learning, I've got a few tips on how you can play as a completely new player diving into the world of Kivotos. So grab a coffee, suit up, and let's head to Shale's office, Sensei. At the beginning of the game, you'll be introduced to the world of Kivotos where you, as their summoned teacher, is brought here to teach. Well, be their teacher. What did you expect? After you learn the basics and complete the tutorial, you're ready to do some extra pulls using the freebies in your inbox. Generally speaking, these are the units you want to keep. However, if the rerolling process proves to be too much to bear, try to at least aim for a recommended DPS or tank and move on. Don't let us spoil the fun by making it look like there's only one way to play the game. Once you've done your first few pulls, the game begins. Let me give you a general idea of what you want to focus on to progress through the game. For character progression, you get them to grow stronger through the following aspects. Character levels, skill levels, equipment levels, and fondness or relationship levels. All these can be done at the very beginning of the game and here's how you do it. Number 1. Clearing Mission Stages As far as character level, skills and equipment is concerned, the first thing you want to do is to clear the mission stages. Clearing the mission stages is the only way to open up other modes in the game. This should naturally be your top priority content to clear when you're playing. You open up commissions after 1-4, cafe after 2-1, lessons after 2-4, bounties and crafting after 3-2, total assault which is the raid equivalent after 4-1, and finally PvP after 6-1. You go through stage to stage ideally getting 3 star along the way to maximize the rewards you get per energy spent. You will hit a wall where you're unable to clear a stage. When that happens, it's time to explore other places before you come back again. Which brings me to the next thing. Number 2. Farming Daily Hard Modes The hard modes are unlocked when you clear the chapter in normal difficulty. I highly recommend that you at least clear the stages that drop the shots of a character you are using or plan to use. As a general rule of thumb, Yuka, Pina, and Junko are always worth farming for. I'll be releasing more content and guides for Blue Archive, so if you'd like what you see thus far, do hit the subscribe and like button as it would greatly help the channel. Number 3. Clearing Your Bounties There are currently 3 different bounties available once you unlock them. 2 entries each for skill materials, crafting materials, and growth materials. Make sure to start farming them early since skill materials are really hard to come by. If a stage is too difficult, don't be afraid to sweep the previous difficulty since you'll almost never have enough of various levels of skill materials. Number 4. Improving your cafe The cafe is easily misunderstood for a place where you decorate for fun, and honestly, part of the reason this mode exists is for that reason. However, in Blue Archive, the cafe gives you a pretty significant reward for progression. The cafe earnings yield energy and credits, so the higher in comfort level your cafe is, the more it yields, the more you can play. Another reason to focus here is that random characters will visit which you can improve their relationship levels just by tapping on them. You can also manually invite one character you wish to increase her fondness to the cafe after a certain amount of time. Why do you want to advance their fondness? Well, the more they grow to like you, they unlock various perks that makes the character stronger in combat and other vanity rewards too. Number 5. Using your lesson tickets There are up to 4 different locations where lessons can be carried out. In these locations, there are different characters scattered across the campus ready to take on your class. You are given tickets daily where you can use for a class in a location to improve the fondness of characters attending and some skill materials on the side. The more classes you teach in a location, the more it grows in levels. At the beginning of the game, you want to focus on getting the Shale Office to level 3 first to complete the beginner's quest. Other than that, it is entirely up to you which class to teach more in since you may have characters you are simping for, or at least working on. Last but not least, the Momo Talk. The Momo Talk is the chat messenger equivalent of the real world. As your character grows in fondness, you can interact with them here and unlock their side stories. You want to do this for visual rewards and most importantly, a healthy amount of premium currency. That's basically about it for an early game beginner's guide. If you're looking for a tier list to know what you want to aim for on your rerolls, there are plenty on the internet already, so I will not bother you with that one. If the content of this video is able to be of help to you, please do leave a like and comment your thoughts on any feedback you have in the comment section below. Until the next video, bye!